right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. And he's not afraid to engage on the ground team. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And he's up. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, close guard now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Close guard. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Then he's out. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cejudo. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Just over two minutes now to go. He loaded up with that right hand, too. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Cejudo's right back to the full mount. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that nice usually gun. makes you tap. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice job here, staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Closed guard here, he's very comfortable here, working off of his back, DC. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. 
Well, there are a few things more. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. I want you to avoid that takedown. Ready? Ready, fight. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Straight punch lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right hand punch to the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now connects with a right. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Good work from the top here by Cejudo. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Cejudo. Down into his mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Connects with a right. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. And he's out. I mean, how many can he take? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 90 seconds. Now the guy's now got on bar. He's attacking it on him. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. So a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Punch over the top. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. So who goes back in full mount? Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Relentless pressure from the top by Sahuda. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Two minutes now to go in the fight. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Back mount now. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. And he's out. He 
keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Close guard. A couple hammer fists there for good measure. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Right hand punches the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good punch land. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown oh, maybe tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. All right, so there's the final horn as the fighters go the distance here tonight, and it really was all about his takedown game. Most of the time when he changed levels, he was able to get the fight where he wanted to. Yeah, Johnny changed levels, and he did it beautifully. He had fantastic timing on those takedowns. He had great finishes on those takedowns, and he had a commitment to scoring as many as he needed to in order to get his hand raised. And I feel like tonight he should win this victory pretty easily. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, 29-28. Going the winner by unanimous decision, Henry the Messenger to who?